If you're in media production, you have seen the impact of technology in the industry. Not only does it allow you to do more things, it also creates a new set of complexities. Where are my files stored? And for how long can I keep adding content on top of my storage system? Are my files safe and secure? And lastly, how fast can I retrieve them and find that needle in Haystack? In this demo, we'll see how Cloudian can help you overcome these challenges. Let me start with the Cloudian Hyperstore Management Console. Hyperstore is our software-defined object storage solution that allows you to start small and grow to hundreds of petabytes on-prem simply by adding more nodes to your data center. In this setup, we have six node Hyperstore cluster running across two data centers with a total capacity of more than a petabyte. That's equivalent to roughly 10,000 hours of 4K media. Among other things, here you can monitor the health of your data center, look at the capacity consumption, and also determine when to add more nodes and expand your data center without any interruption based on the forecasting data. To show a typical editing workflow here, we are going to start with exporting a few files in Adobe Premiere Pro project. You can also use any other editing tool such as Avid Pro or FCPX. So here I have exported some video, audio, and image files for a few TED videos that I'm editing. When you are done with the project, all your assets and the final result are stored in Hyperstore bucket in the form of objects. In the background, we take care of file to object conversion so that you don't have to worry about it. This is the user view in Hyperstore Management Console. Here you can see your buckets and the media files or objects that we just exported within those buckets. Now there is certain amount of metadata that's associated with the media as it comes from Adobe Premiere Pro. With Cloudian's Elasticsearch integration, we can look at that metadata in Kibana. Here you can type your query and search for files within seconds. As you can see, it has the typical file attributes such as which bucket it was stored in and when, name of your file and its size. You can use this metadata to search your files based on their name and size, but that's pretty much about it. Now you can add more metadata such as transcription or facial recognition manually, but with the amount of data that we are talking about, doing it manually is not really a practical solution. And that's where artificial intelligence comes in. With Cloudian's cloud integration, you can easily use power of cloud tools to get more value out of your data. Here we are going to use example of Microsoft Video Indexer. Similar functionalities or tools are also available from Amazon or Google or any other on-prem application. With these AI tools, now you can extract different characters or actors present in the media and where they appear. You can also get things like keywords and annotations from audio transcription and do sentiment analysis on your media files. What's cool is that this metadata gets associated with your media and gets stored in your environment. Now let's go back to Kibana and see how our enriched metadata looks like after using such AI tools. So now you can see that in addition to the metadata that we already had, we have some more details. For example, that talk was delivered by Sir Ken Robinson and it was about schools and education. It also has tags and keywords that you can use to search your media. Let's say I have to create a special episode from some famous tech talks based on the topic education. Let's see how we can achieve that. So here is our Kibana dashboard that tells you how many buckets we have with how many objects within them and the consumed capacity of those media files. Here you can also see details of top 10 videos based on the number of views and their publishing trend. Now let's search for most famous TED Talks for the topic education. Within a second, you have the results. It tells you that there are 147 videos for this topic, and you can see 10 most famous ones with Sir Ken Robinson's video that we were just looking at at the top. You can also do some additional analytics here. For example, there is this spike around 2013 for talks on education. And if you scroll down, then you'll see that that's probably because there was a dedicated TED event for the education in that particular year. Now you can export these videos in Premiere Pro, edit them and create a special episode from that. 
If you are already using a media asset manager for managing the workflow of the media, transcoding and distribution, then you can use Hyperstore with that for your active archival. We work seamlessly with the MAMs in your existing workflow. Here I have example of eMAM, where I have ingested the same media assets that we saw earlier, and they are getting archived on Hyperstore using our S3 protocol. So to summarize the three key points here with Cloudian, one, you have the ability to store limitless capacity of media. Two, we can automatically protect that media by replicating either to a remote site or to cloud as part of your existing workflow. And third, we can quickly search and find that media using metadata that you either store yourself or enrich using artificial intelligence. That's what makes us a really powerful storage environment that helps you to do more with your media archives. That concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.